Good morning. So what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I got a little surprise for you guys. Let me show you. So I got this white line kit. It's a, it's a control arm kit for the for the rear end of my 2004 Subaru STI, which the last time you guys saw on the channel, broken and it's still broken. You can see there's no transmission. Still, I'm waiting on that. It should be arriving within like a week or two. So as soon as I get on, I'm gonna be driving this thing like crazy. But yeah, we're gonna get that white line rear end installed. That way we can really dial in the alignment. But before we do that, let's go get a good workout and start off our morning right. Part of the reason why we're replacing these because my control arms are actually a little bent. Um, there you go. Let me go get a light so I can show you. Like a little bent right here on this control arm. I'm not sure if it really picks up on camera or not, but I guess kind of from that angle you can see it's a little bit bent. I'm not really sure from what. I'll just say it's from the torque. All right, so now we're gonna take off the lateral link bolt that connects them both together. There's a 19. I'll take those off and then I'm gonna take off the sway bar. And then we're gonna start working near the differential. Make sure that you don't misplace the washer that's on the back side. It goes with the nut, so don't misplace that. But first I wanna take off the sway bar off first. So I believe it's 12 or 14. It's been a really long time. And then there's also, you have to get a small uh, wrench to hold on the back side that way it doesn't spin if i remember correctly so what i was trying to show you guys was that um, you get the 14 to spin that nut off but as you spin this nut off the whole stud was trying to move with it so just grab a 14 uh wrench and it'll just slide right there to hold that stud in place that way you take out the nut and remove it so now we got we got it all disconnected from the hub now we just need to disconnect it from the rear subframe and i believe Either 17s or 19s. Oh shit, never mind, they're, they're even bigger. They're probably like 21s. 21? Oh damn, I think they're bigger. I think they might be 22s actually. I don't even have 22s on my on my Yeehaw truck. Alright, so I forgot to hit record. I was a too entertained, but basically 22 on one end, 17 on the other end. There we go. This bolt looks like it hasn't even been touched in years. Oh, come on. Oh. God damn, bro. Leg day for sure. Um, it looks like we're gonna have to pop off the axle. Great. Stay tuned for the next episode. <laughs> yeah, stay tuned for the next episode. Cause I don't want to do this right now. Fuck. Keep in mind that you may or may not have to remove the axle the way I did. I just popped it out from the rear differential and we just pulled the hub with the axle. We didn't remove the axle nut and that gave us enough room to work with to extract the bolt out. You may or may not do this if you have soft axles, but um, just be aware of it. Drumsticks. So here's the drumsticks I was telling you about. This is a U after 30 pounds of boost. This is U with the built block. You see this one's nice and straight. Stock garage couldn't handle, so. The thing is, like, this one's bent, so. We just, I mean, either way, it's gonna need alignment. Well, basically, even though it's bent, you, I think you're gonna have to give it the same size, and then once it's on the alignment rack, they'll do all the rest of the adjusting. Yeah. Hand tight for now. And then we'll do the same thing on this side, so. Yeah, we'll just show you when it's all installed in the car, because I'm pretty sure you guys get the concept. Okay. Oh, I think you might have to pull it out. Pull the hub out. Yeah. Don't forget to grease up the bushings. It makes it a much easier install as well as not gonna make it squeak or creak or do any sort of weird noises. I had to bust out a file because there was a slight burr that was uh, 
not allowing me to install the lateral link so I just deburred it real quick and went in smoothly. For the front one, the one closer to the front of the car, um, the diameter, the inner diameter for the bushing on here to over here is a little bit different. You want the bigger one to go over here for this larger bolt that we saw earlier. That one right there. Because if you do it the opposite way, um, the bushing is too small and it won't work. So make sure you do that. Pro tip, when you're installing this ladder link, make sure you got the sway bar above it if you have a sway bar, because if not, you're just gonna have to take off that nut or that bolt again, take it out and redo it. So make sure you do that first. Now when you get started on this side, it's pretty much the same thing. We're gonna pull out the axle. I didn't install it. I just had it resting in there, so you can see. We'll pull it out, that way we can install all the bolts. And then after everything's sort of in place, that's when we're gonna really give it the torque specs of all the ugga duggas and all the strip bolts. After everything's all tight down, don't forget to tighten these down because that'll ruin your day if you did it. Just put the wheels back on and go get it aligned because my measurements are off. I know that for a damn fact because my shit was bent. It's about the last post about the transmission. I still haven't gotten it back yet. I will get it back within like a week or two. They got the parts and they just simple. And I'll show you guys some pictures of what actually went wrong. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Like third gear completely shredded and fourth gear was chipping away as like e almost every single shifter fork was showing signs of wear, so. Bad turbo, bad turbo, you blew up third gear. I'm playing. You can you keep on making boost, I don't care. Keep blowing transitions. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was somewhat informative to you guys as well as uh, you know what to look out for when once you start having some weird torques here because I never thought I would bend that shit, but apparently you can bend them. And I'm just glad I didn't break them because if you broke them, that would have been a bad day. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully in the next video, I'll get my transmission back. That way we can start driving it around and start getting some face reactions because I only put maybe like 150 miles like in a month and a half. And that's really nothing. I That car needs to see the road. It's been living in the garage for too long. So anyways, I'll see you guys there. Peace.